to Newsnight, and tonight we pick off from where we ended last night as we were discussing Amama's pronouncement um, to the presidency. Andrew Mwenda, CEO of the Independent Magazine and also all of the clan. Andrew, thank you very much. And again the end of Broken Hearts. For joining us. You know, today Andrew. I had this two pretty young ladies come <laughs> see me in the office and then I mended their hats. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> On Monday, um, just after the video went online, Mama Baba's video went online, his pronouncement to stand and contest for the presidency. You did tweet on social media and said you force see a, um, a clampdown on, on a mama the person and probably an arrest and charge him being charged with the several um, crimes that have come up in the past. His, his links with cho the, the, the Chogan money in 2007. Um, fast forward, OPM, OPM saga, there's Temangalo, and all this. Why would the state decide now to charge a mama with all this? Because I think that it is, uh, it is a rule in the Museven handbook, in the Museven's political handbook. He has it's changed a rule over the last few months. I don't, think I, so. don't think I don't think so. I think that even if whatever Museven's personal wishes anyway, I have this inclination to think that the Museven apparatchet will try to humiliate him, but if only to please the president. But the president will because hold Because I put myself in Museven's shoes. Yes. Museven has given everything to our mama. Yes. That he has never given anybody. He has made him everything. He has been a special envoy. He has given him his presidential jet for Babas to go on the president's personal missions. He has made him director of external security, minister of defense, minister of security, prime minister, minister of justice, Attorney minister General. of foreign affairs. Attorney General has made him everything. So if you're in the seventh shoes, you'd feel a deep sense of betrayal for somebody you'd confided in so much, brought so close, gave so much power, and in any case, he never even fought in the bush to betray you like that. So the seventh personal sense of betrayal will drive those around the president to do the worst things for in order to please the president. Let me tell you what they will do. One, yes. and the president has told him this before in a, in a second meeting. He said, but I hear people are raising these issues of oh, the manga law. And, uh, eh? He told him. He defended look at, the, he defended at that the time, but now, that. now, now they can bring it back if only to undermine Mbaba's credibility. They may try to try him. You see, if the president called me and said, the old man, you are wise now, given your <laughs> balding head and gray hair. What do you think? I think that they should not arrest Mbabazi. Because if they attempt to do, to humiliate Mbabazi, they will build greater sympathy for him and even improve his profile because the media will be covering it. He'll become talk of the town, talk of the village, talk of the market, talk of the factory, talk of every place. The street corners, the people will be talking about him. You don't want to give him that advantage. So if Mbabazi has already positioned his campaign in a much more civilized way, I would request the LRM and the president to also respond in a highly civilized way, be detached from him, try to engage him on issues. Because let me tell you, this issue, Morris. This campaign isn't really not about policy. There is nothing that, what Mbaba raises that is about policy. Mbaba actually raises the right issue. He says implementation, that he wants to improve the administrative competencies of the state, which are uh, implementation competencies of the, of the state, which are weak, not the policy uh, options of the state. And Mbaba from the, what I know, I personally Baba worked one time with my brother, and my brother had a very high respect for him because he felt he is a very effective administrator. He is a results-oriented person. He knows how to manage a process to get the right result. And I felt, I feel President Seven is too patient, too slow sometimes in trying to push his people to deliver on targets he has set. So Baba may bring much more. My own sense is that while Mbaba may make a very good president, I don't think he can make a good presidential candidate. I told you yesterday that Mbaba is not the kind of guy who is going to go into a kafunda, eat food with people. Basically, is a real politician. He's not going to go on the streets, demonstrate, well, and be allowed to be campaign dumped. Do change people. We could have Maybe, seen. yes, Whoever he has been hiding something. Maybe he would actually rap, I mean, and have a song that was out there. And or would move around with envelopes. Exactly. <laughs> handing them to... The yes. president of the late 80s, early 90s would I, not be the one moving around with yes, envelopes. Yes, I agree. So it is possible he that can actually go to a winner. He could go Mbaba's, to the demands of politics may change Mbaba's behavior, and he may try to get out of his rigid, stiff fashion, and he becomes a much more flexible and the, uh, 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 attractive person. You'd never know. That will be a surprise to let's, us. Let's discuss something else uh, that, that keeps coming up. The recent alliance, the Democratic alliance, mm. that had Hope Mwesije, his sister-in-law, sign, or, mm. or, or at least state that they were interested in mm. this proposal, by the, mm -hmm. the, the Democratic Alliance. There, were even, there was even talk that he could be the candidate they would want to put on the ballot as an opposition. What happens now? You see, right now, Mbaba has positioned himself to go to that alliance and lead it, right? There is a problem. If Mbaba and the 
Besija went head to head in who should lead the coalition. Yes. Besija would win. Besija had greater has greater fanatical support and credentials than Imbabazi. Who, who do you want to be oh, 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 the chairmanship of FDC? Oh, Let's probably begin there. Yeah. Because I'm imagining you could mm. go to a summit, which they said the summit would make a decision. You could go to a summit, and the summit decides on who. That's why I was coming the, yes. in the slim chance that yes. Mbabazi wins. You see, part of the problem this coalition has that assuming Mbabazi wins, the question is, will Besije and uh, Muntu accept? Let yes. me say that Muntu is a very reasonable person, and to a degree Besije is reasonable. They may put aside their personal interests and say uh, Mbabazi should lead. What of the supporters? You see, the supporters of Muntu and the supporters of Besije will want their candidates or their people to have a high profile. But if Mbabazi wins as a, the presidential candidate of the opposition coalition, you cannot get either Besije or Muntu who come from the same village in Rukunjiri there uh, and in Tungamu as, as a running mate. They will have to pick a person like Kenya who is a Muganda and a Catholic in order to broaden their ethnic and religious appeal. Yes. Right? Now, just imagine the quarrels and recommendations Bukenya and Mbabazi have had, and then you have Mbabazi, Bukenya is running with Mbabazi. I find that odd. Two, two, <laughs> quickly, quickly. will the message of people accept that the message of fizzles into obscurity, into irrelevance, and Mbabazi takes over? For message who has sacrificed so much for the opposition, now you have Mbabazi, who has been the terrorist on the side of the state, harassing them. Now you say he's the one who should lead this moral struggle for democracy, for accountability. For there are many. If we had time another day, yeah. tomorrow, yeah. we should discuss the actual dynamics of building that coalition and why we are likely to see a big clash of egos. Two, we are likely to see a big clash of moral principles on who should lead this coalition. Three, a big clash on uh, a big clash on strategy. Yeah. Because ultimately, I don't see how that coalition can work. If I was invited Quickly. to advise that coalition, yeah. I would say uh, remain scattered, run as individuals, <laughs> force them seven. <laughs> listen, force them seven into a second round, and in the second round, it will be easy for you to unite. All right, based on the on the votes, uh, vote turnout. All right, um, that was news.